a glabai or rewinding. There are different rewinding processes, but the simplest is used in this kind of weaving. Rewinding transfers the thread from the cones to smaller spools or bulunan. This is done so that there would be ample number of spools of thread necessary for the preparation of the warp. Agatoli or starching. Starching is done mostly for predominantly cotton threads that are favored materials for weft or pakai. These are the horizontal threads used to make the textile. However, starching may also be done for the warp or the vertical threads if they are made of cotton. The warp should be made of the best quality material to make sure it withstands the stress out or on. The starch threads are then hung outside for a good sun drying. Agpolipo or spooling. Transferring the starch thread to several spools. Distribution of strands is done in order to create the desired design. Agan ay or warping. Warping is done by laying out the spools of thread in the space provided, where the paggan ayan or warping frame is set up and kalangkang is hung. The number of spools of thread as well as the colors depend on how wide and dense the textile to be woven is going to be and the desired type of weave and design. Agilukot or bini. This involves rolling of the warp threads into bamboo slats or bislak which serve to ensure that warp threads stay in place and to maintain the stress needed to keep them firm and the weaving process efficient. Also done in this step is the installation of the rolled warp threads into the loom's warp beam. But some weavers first proceed with the 7th and 8th steps before they install into the beam. <laughs> 